Hey, how's it going? Oh, today we finally have it. It finally showed up. We have Senpai Goddess Haven 5. So, will this one be better or worse than number 4? Senpai ha Haven, um, overall, I've been a fan of the Haven series line. Um, some of the, I know some of them haven't been as good. Number four had some foil issues with some of the cards. Number three had like bad card actual quality. Number one and number two were pretty good. Three and four, they kind of fell off a little bit. So I'm wondering, are they going to redeem themselves with five? Or is it going to follow the same path of kind of getting worse and worse? You know, um, we'll see. We're going to open up two boxes. We opened up two boxes when we did four. So we're going to open up two when we did as we're doing five here. So, and another issue with 4 that wasn't very great is that 4 had a lot of duplicates if you opened up that set or uh, you saw the video or whatnot. So, 4, it was like after two boxes, you pretty much had a full SR, ZR, and MR. You pretty much had like 90% of the set complete out of like two boxes. That's how many duplicates. And there was only like nine variations of like ZR cards. And so it was very easy to get those completed. The only hard part was getting the hits. And if I already have 90% of the box, the set complete from like two boxes, I, I'm not going to buy more boxes to have all this junk bulk to get two hits, you know? So I feel like that's where they made a mistake. Because it's like, I'm not going to buy all these boxes just to have this bulk and just throw it away just to try and get a hit. I'll just buy the hit off you directly or somebody reselling there or someone, you know? So I'm hoping that's not the case here. I haven't really looked at the cards for this set. So I don't know what's coming. I hope there's nothing too sus that doesn't show up. If there is, the video will just cut out. <laughs> the beauty of recording and not live streaming is that I can cut out if anything sus shows up. When I'm live streaming on Thursdays, there's no way to cut it out, so if something bad shows up, well, I'm just done for. We're doomed. <laughs> Luckily, I've been pretty good about nothing bad happening to... And Haven hasn't really had any bad cards in it, so... That's a lot of packs for each box there. Makes me feel like there's going to be a lot of duplicates. Alright. Let's get through these. There's a lot of packs. Let's get a move on. I hope they're good. Oh, they're red this time. Bazooka. Ooh, I like the little purple outfit you got going on there. Miko. All right. Sile. Eris Boreas Gray Rat is our ultra rare. <laughs> Nessa is our ZR card from Pokemon. And that butterfly outfit? The heck? Okay. Let's open. Why is this pack? I don't know. Maybe it's just feel this pack feels like extra thick for some reason. Maybe it's just me. Uh, we got my Okita, Goto, Rius. Ooh, that's nice. That's kind of considering if I want to keep that card or not. We'll see if we get another one. I might keep it. And oh, it is very thick. Th that's why the pack felt so thick. Scarlet SP card. It's not numbered or anything, but. It's interesting. They ha Haven has not had thick cards before. It's the first time they've had thick um, cards in the set. It's quite nice, though. I like the foiling on it. It looks good. Nice. We'll put that there. Interesting. I didn't even expect that was a card or anything because they haven't had thick cards in sets one through four. Bulma. Comey. Chloe. <gasps> Nami from One Piece, and she is in her, um, uh, is this Strong World outfit? I'm a One Piece expert. I should know this. I should know everything about the series. This looks like Strong World from the movie. I gotta keep that, though. And Asuna, she is another character I keep a lot of. But her body looks... <laughs> her body looks comical. <laughs> I... It's like she's got the rump going on, and then pick size and then ba boing and then super skinny size again it just looks weird and she's so tall too it's funny looking but i gotta keep it because i keep asana <laughs> all right 
and keep it going. Morgan from Fate. Mikasa, Attack on Titan. Arima, 0-2 with a beach ball. And, oh, Brad Monte from Fate XR. This art has been used before. It is good art, though. Has this been used in Haven before? I feel like this art has been. It's another thick card, too. All right. So far, every pack has given us like a ZR or a hit. Either they're just giving us all the hits right away, or every single pack actually does have a nice card in it. Marine? Takagaki? Another Rias? Her hands look a little creepy, though. Kurumi? I still... Someone's got to tell me if I'm saying it right or wrong. I keep saying Kurumi. I don't know if it's Kurumi. I keep saying Kurumi. I, no one's ever corrected me and said if I'm wrong or right. <laughs> so someone's going to have to tell me one of these days. I don't know if I'm saying it right or wrong. Shen Ho with the Gyat. Holy. What is she doing to that pole? It's wrapping all the way around. Holy smokes. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. All right, every pack so far has been a ZR or better. <gasps> Another Asuna card. Another fine addition. Karara. Why is she dressed like Nami? Risa? I don't know who this Risa is, but that is Nami's outfit from One Piece. That is the same exact outfit. Okay, I don't know who this Risa is. I wouldn't keep the, her, but just the fact that it's Nami's outfit, I feel like I have to keep it. Because it's somewhat One Piece related. Nino and Okita, another XR card. What the heck? We're getting a lot of fancy cards right off the bat, which is good. So far, this is way better than Senpai 4. Maybe they learned their lesson from the last set that they went, oh, we got to change it up. Whoa! Marine. Ganyu. What the heck? Oh, her mouth is so small and there's no nose that it looks like her face is just empty. Like there's nothing on it. <laughs> it's so weird looking. Sakura from Fate. Marin. Sakura. From whatever. I don't know what she's from. Oh, another... Eh, it feels slightly thick. There might be a thick card in here. Hanako? Jeez. Getting a little sus there. Rika. Hoshino. Again, Kurumi, if that's right. Miku, MR card. This one is like slightly thick, you know? This SP card is very thick, and this MR card is about half as thick. Interesting. What about the XR? Uh, it's about the same as the XR. Alright, I'm, I'm liking Haven 5 so far. Way better than 4. Mitsuri? That's nice, Mitsuri. This was also another character. I don't know if I'm pronouncing right or wrong. I say Himiko. I don't know if it's Himiko. I would say Himiko. Someone, again, no one else has told me if I'm right or wrong. Nezuko. Nakano. Tifa. <laughs> Alright, you're a little sus there, Tifa. I'm not keeping you on screen that long. Power from Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man manga fell off, just saying. Yoimiya. Misaka, Marin, and Miku. Again, but a different version of Miku. Oh no, our rare cards are overflowing a bit. <laughs> we got actual Miku, the OG. Megumin, Hatsumaki. Megumin again. Yamato from One Piece, but <laughs> why does she look so weird? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm liking the addition of One Piece characters in here. I'm liking it. 
Where's Robin, though? Robin's the best one. All right, Miko. Oh, now we're getting some duplicates. When we're hitting duplicate territory. Yushio. Akino from High School DXD. Nice. Mithra. Oh, I haven't had a Mithra card in a long time. Oh, we're keeping that, too. She's another character I keep. Keeping that. I'm, if you've watched me for a while now, you kind of know who I keep. But I keep One Piece characters, Cheshire and Kashino from Azure Lane, Pyra and Mithra, um, Asuna, sometimes Karen from Blue Archive. Um, yeah, those are the main ones I keep a lot of. Oh, whoops, I put Akino in the wrong pile. I caught it, I caught it, don't worry. Okay, getting some duplicates. Numa is also from Xenoblade. All right, I gotta do my take here. She's underrated. I don't wanna say anything because she's it's a spoiler. She's only in the game for like a little bit. Um, She's underrated. I know everyone likes Pyra and Mithra. Pyra and Mithra are great. Numa is underrated. I gotta keep that too. If you played the game, you know who I'm talking about. If not, I don't want to spoil anything because it's an end game thing. You might be able to put it two and two together to figure out what it is or what she is or who she is, but she's underrated. Okay, well, we got a second one here. Somebody I can sell that one. <laughs> Haruhi? Haruhi? Dark Magician Girl. Oh. Oh. Alright. Dark Magician Girl is extremely popular. As someone who sells cards, Dark Magician Girl sells a really decent amount because she's very popular. But I sometimes keep her. And I may have to keep her this time. It's not like a soup. I mean, the card is nice. The foil adds a, a lot of color to the background of her, too. That matches really well. I may have to keep one. Let's hope we get a second copy. It stings because I know someone may pay like $20 for that. But I got to keep it. Just like I have the Dark Magician uh, Girl MR card from 10 mo 3 That's a very sought after card, too. But I had to keep one copy because it's very it's a very nice looking card. I don't keep her all the time, but sometimes I'm just like you gotta. Alright, I think we've hit a lot of duplicates. Asuna again. So the second stack here. Might be a lot faster to go through, because it might be what we've already seen. Fake Nami. Shinna. <laughs> Again. <laughs> all right. You know what? For one, this was all just one box. For one box, to get these five thick rare cards, we didn't even open our topper of the box yet either. And to get all these ZR cards plus the ones I kept for myself, this is way better than number four. Way better. So they really uh improved from four. All right. Second half is gonna go faster. Because unless we see something new, we're going to skip. We're going to... Oh, we got a second one. That's good. So unless we see something new, we'll stop and look at it. Otherwise, we're going to keep the pace moving. I'm actually glad getting the second Dark Magician girl. Nessa. Well, yeah, you see what I mean? We opened up one box, and I feel like we pretty much have all the SSRs complete. There may be, like, one or two that we're missing that we don't know about. But, yeah. I'm really curious to see what's in these. Because so far, the main packs have been really good. At least to me, I think they've been really good. Ooh, thick. This one feels very thick. It's probably a SP card. Misaka? Did we get that one before? The foiling sometimes makes it hard to read the text in that. Because it kind of reflects in a weird way. 
Neo Universe. Is that actually her name? Well, it says Neo right there, too. Nice. I like the blue background. It really is very shiny. With a little bit of green at the bottom, too. That's cool. I like that. That's nice. Another Mithra? Where's Pyra? We just need Pyra. There's got to be a Pyra. You can't tell me you have Numa and Pyra, uh, Numa and Mithra with no Pyra card. I'm going to be sad if there isn't. I'm going to leave her out. Oh, no. Lancer? <laughs> little, little sus there, Lancer. Her little sweater and everything. Another Numa. No Pyra. I don't think there's a Pyra. Kind of sad. Uh, another one of these. We got two of those. That's fine. That's not a bad card. Oh, these two stuck together. Another Dark Magician girl. Let's go. Good hit. Good card. May from Pokemon Legend Arceus. Hmm. Interesting. Pokemon characters do go pretty well. People really like those characters. Interesting choice, though. Usually it's Rosa. She's usually the number one. Or Cynthia. Rosa, typically number one that they always print. Nessa is kind of popular, too. I don't, I'm not a fan of Nessa. But she's also on a few cards. A Rem. All right. Now, if one... Is there going to be a ram? I see a little bit of pink right here. This would be cool if there was a ram the other way doing the same pose. You could put both cards together. There's a little bit of pink there. That could just be the background ribbon, though. That'd be a cool idea. Did I open this upside down? Oh, I guess the cards were flipped. I was like, I don't think I opened it upside down. Asuna... All right. Little weird production or production mix up there of getting the cards flipped around. We got three normal packs and then we have our two top cards, topper packs that I'm really curious to see. Those are going to You know, these cards have been pretty good so far. I feel like those ones are going to be very good as well. I mean, they can't be in the left down, right? Another Tifa. All right. And another Yamato. All right. Okay. So we got our hits. Move these over here. Our big stack of the uh, common cards. Let's see what's in our two fancy packs. Let's hope these are super fancy. Number one of two. We got... Oh, no. Formidable. Formidable. You're a little sus here. Is she numbered? No numbered. TCX, whatever that rarity is. Ah, nice card. A little, little sus there, formidable. Last one. Watch it be formidable again. Oh, dang. Oh, it's numbered. It's got like a gold border around it. 
and it's number 39 of 399. Bradamante, hey, again, S E R, Christmas style. Same character as this one right here. All right, very thick card. This is like a brick. And it's number 39, 399. Not bad. We'll take it. I'll take a number card. You know what? I'm pretty satisfied about this. This is way better than four. If you happen to watch my Senpai 4 video and compare it to this one, you can see why Senpai 4 was not as good. Because Senpai 4 had some foiling issues on these cards, and you think there was only like nine rarities, nine different cards of the ZRs, and they weren't even that good. Uh, there was no, none of this was in four either. And yeah. It's just way better. And there's card characters. There's characters I like. Dark Magician Girl, Numa, uh, Mithra, Yamato, Fake Nami, Asuna, Asuna, and actual Nami. I am quite satisfied with this set. I like it. I'm glad to see it do a lot better than what the last one was. All right. That is our Senpai Goddess 5. Two boxes that we opened up today. Uh... As per usual, you can check the description for my Discord server. You can join us, talk about cards there. My Twitch, where we open up cards every Thursday, as well as on the YouTube channel here that you can follow. And uh, my eBay shop, where you can buy these cards. These ones I will be keeping. These ones will all be sold on there eventually when I get around to it. So uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.